Hello and welcome to Andy's Game Vault. I'm Andy and today we're playing Rome Total War. We're going to do an Imperial campaign on very hard difficulty. We're choosing the Julii faction. We're going to do manage all sediment, settlements. We're going to do the short campaign, which means we have to hold 15 provinces and destroy Gaul. Let's get started. I hate Gauls. My grandfather hated them too. Even before they put out his eyes. Did you think I'd be out here on the frontier without good reason? Yes. Rome needs a strong frontier. No! Rome doesn't need unwashed barbarians at her gates. So, that's why I'm here. The leader of the Julii, to bring Roman order to stinking Gauls. Revenge? That'd be good too. This war against the Gauls won't last long. And when it's done, I've got plans. This is all about power. Power in Rome. Going down that road means dealing with all my rivals. The Senate. The Greeks. Those Carthaginian elephant riders. The Scipii and the Brutii families, too. After all, the man who controls Rome rules the world. And one day, I will be Emperor. Alright, as you can hear, our leader there, Flavius Julius, he's a very ambitious guy and he hates the Gauls. So we're going to bring the war to the Gauls and play as Flavius. So we've got a mission from the Senate which is to take the settlement of Segestia and let's go take a look at our armies here. So here's our leader. He was the guy in that speech there. His name is Flavius Julius. He's a pretty good commander, decent manager, management, and it's got good influence. He's got an H retainer that improves, improves his management. And he is our current faction leader. Let's go look at our family over here in the family tree. So here's our leader, Flavius. And then his oldest son, Lucius Julius, is our faction heir. He's a good manager, but if you look at him, he's not as good of a commander. Then we got our second son, Quintus, is a pretty decent commander, three stars. And then the youngest son, Vibius, he only has one star. He's not the greatest. We've got some grandchildren that will come of age not right away. We've got um, Amulus. I don't know how to pronounce that. And Manius. Uh, those are the next two. And then these two, Marcus and Decius, won't come of age for a while. But we also have a daughter, which we can marry her off to a commander and get another general that way. But first, let's go ahead and do some spying over here. We are going to eventually take the fight to the Gauls. So I'm going to send my spy out to take a look at the two cities here. Media Lenanum. Oh man, I'm really bad at pronouncing names. And Patvium. So let's see, we've got some Hastati here and some Velites. And over here is our main army with our Hastati and we've got uh, an elite group of Triarii. These are our elite spearmen. We can't actually build these guys yet. We don't have the infrastructure to train them, but we'll have to build up in order to do that. Let's go ahead and Imperator. send this guy kind of on the way. Forward. I want to add Vel uh, my uh, Velites, which are my javelin throwers. So I have two archer units in here, and I'm going to go ahead and attack. Sir. This battle should be pretty easy. We want to take this attack. settlement this Resigent turn. We sir. don't need to build any siege equipment because they don't have walls. It's just a tiny little village. So we're going to go ahead and take them. Let's go ahead and uh, do the battle. We're going to fight the battle ourselves. We're going to listen to the speech. I will listen to some of the speeches in this game, mainly on the main conflicts. Uh, maybe not on the smaller conflicts, but since this is the first one, we're going to listen to the speech. Rebellious slaves may think of victory, 
but we should make them think kindly of their master's whips. They are dead men. There is no shame in fear. There is only shame in letting fear rule you. Try not to look scared, and you'll find bravery in your heart! Alright, are you inspired? I'm inspired. Let's go. That was a good speech. I really love the speeches in this game. So we're going to do a two-pronged attack. We're going to do um, from two different sides. So we'll take our Velites here and a unit of Histadi on this side. And what I'm going to do is select these guys, group them up, then ungroup them. That's just moving them to the end because I want these guys at the end. And then this is going to be our main assault force. So let's go back and they're going to hit them on the other side. So I'm going to select these guys. And we'll just line them up right here just for now. And then when we start the battle we'll, we'll place them and get some guys here. Okay, so let's get our Hastati. And I'm going to put my Hastatis on to fire at will because they do have javelins. I think each Hastati has two javelins. So we're going to go ahead and put him here. And he's going to protect our archers. Let's take a look. You can hold the space bar and see what the yellow uh, squares, which tells you where your guys are going. All right, let's just get our Triarii and our General. Well, let's make the Triarii right there. And go to our other attack unit of our Hastati and Velites. They're going to hit them from the rear. They'll probably rush out to get the archers first because these guys don't have as good of range as the archers, the uh, javelin throwers. All right, let's go ahead and watch our general perspective. Unpause it. And just go to triple speed for now. Let's keep an eye on the enemy and see what they're doing. They are moving out. And we'll get them to rush our archers. So that's... I'm going to change the strategy again. I'm going to take these guys. And I'm going to get them on flanking positions because they're going to come rushing at our archers, I think. And we'll hit them from the sides. And our archers will be in the middle here. That'll draw out their forces. We may not be in range just yet. Let's see. Nope. I'm going to go back to normal speed. I'm going to send them up a little bit. I think that should get them in range. Nope, still not in range. They'll automatically start firing as soon as they get in range. There we go. Now we are going to start. They can't see them, but they'll just fire in the general direction. I don't think uh, line of sight makes any difference. Let's take a look. We got our light infantry. They're coming at us just as we want, and we'll hit them with Hastati from both sides. These are just barbarian peasants, so they should be pretty easy to deal with. They'll break pretty soon. They might even break before they get to our peasants. Let's see what their warband, which are much more dangerous. We've got to keep an eye on, on them. Okay, uh, they're getting pretty close. I'm going to go ahead. Oh, they are changing their mind. They probably saw my Hastati and decided to change their mind. Oh, they're changing their mind again. Okay, archers, get away want to flee. I don't want my archers to get hurt. Go where I tell you to. The AI is not good about that. Okay, looks like the Warbrand are going after my other guys here, so we're going to send him, our Triarii, and our General to go help out with them. And we'll go ahead and charge with our Triarii and the peasants here. All right, so they are coming after us. Nope, they're changing their mind again. We're gonna we're decimating their peasants right now with our archers, which is reducing them by one tenth. All right, let's take a look. We got our reinforcements over here. 
Let's get our Hastati to hold up while we're hitting him with missiles. And we'll go over here for a kind of a sneak attack. We'll get our Hastatis to move up. And our Velites. Oh, that's our Velites. Okay, so they're going to just go here. And I want my Hestadis to go like this, and I want them to double time. Let's go. And where's my general? Get him in on the action, too. Alright, the peasants might actually attack. Let's go ahead and charge. Our Hastati should make short work of these peasants. Let's halt. If they're not coming at us, we're not going after them. Our guys are not quite in the position yet. Alright. Let's go ahead and charge. With our Velites. And our Hastatis, let's get them on the move. Let's get our general in there too. Because it looks like they're coming after our Hastatis. get where's their warband okay their warband is over there we'll get all our guys up here all right looks like they did get this Hastatis with their warband which is not ideal for us and our generals out of position but their barbarians are fleeing I mean their peasants are fleeing and our Hastati are pretty strong. They're, they're probably stronger than their warband. Okay, they are coming back to protect their town center, which helps us immensely. Let's just get all our infantry, except for this unit, to come after their warband. And our Triarii, let's go. Let's get these guys. Let's halt. Let's just have them walk. Oh, I don't want to hit him with my general. Let's get my general out of there. Hope he, hopefully he obeys my orders and does not engage. There's my general right there. There's Flavius himself about to engage the warband. Warband do not get a bonus against cavalry, even though they have spears. But they have seven attack. They could do some damage. They could take general. out my general if I'm not careful. Okay, there's my general right in the thick of it. Get out of there. Okay, we gotta tell everyone to cease fire. I don't want my general to get hit. Um, so we're gonna not fire at will. Not fire at will. Oh, they don't have any. And then... Take all my infantry. infantry. Go ahead and do a charge. Let's go. And it looks like my general's in the thick of it no matter what. One thing good about losing your general's body is stop firing missiles. I forgot to give them the halt order. Alright, one thing about losing general's bodyguards, they refresh automatically without the gods be praised! The without losing any um, money. So it's free to recruit general's body bodyguard, but it takes a while for them to replenish. Let's go ahead and continue just to get our guys experience. We probably won't lose many more, even though they're in the town center. But our guys will get experience, which will as long as we don't throw any javelins and accidentally get our guys. The more guys you kill, the more experience your units get, and the better they are fighting. So we want to build experience. So just going to wipe this group out. They just have peasants left. I don't know if they have... Oh, there's the enemy general. And he was taken down by Hastati. That was cool. Alright. Rome demands victory from her generals. And this day is clearly our victory! Alright, we got our victory. And we lost 17 guys. Let's take a look. Who got the most kills? Our general killed 104 people. Hastati got 53. Our archers got 50. Pretty good. No one gained any experience, but that takes time. So, 
some a lot of times even though you get a hundred kills you still don't get that experience Victory! okay this is our first settlement I happen to know that this settlement doesn't have any buildings and it doesn't have a very big population so we're not gonna enslave or exterminate them we're just gonna go ahead and occupy them and we'll take a look at the settlement details over here so we got pretty good public order of course we've got our entire army here we could go high tax rate very high tax rate still be at 95 percent we won't do that because we'll probably move our army out this turn we'll leave maybe a couple hostilities so uh... We've got unrest from having just conquered the city that will go down we also have a culture penalty as soon as we build this governor's house i think that culture penalty will disappear so next turn this should be a pretty good settlement I mean it's still really small so we'll go ahead and move this army out we'll, we're gonna take the battle to the Gauls right away um, first of all I'm gonna have this guy build a watchtower I like to build lots of watchtowers because I like to see what's going on in my lands so we can move a little bit further I want to be right in the middle here and build a watchtower. Get this guy back in the city. And you're gonna go... I wanna move these guys out first. Uh, which way do I wanna go? Do I wanna go up here and attack? Yeah, probably. So I'm gonna move him... Well, I wanna build a watchtower on that hill. Let's go this way and attack this way. So we'll move him out here and we'll get Vibius in here alright uh, do I want to go very high we're gonna have a lot of buildings to build so we can go high tax rate for a while our population is pretty small but and our population growth is not good but I'm planning on enslaving these two cities up here which will improve my population growth quite a bit I'm gonna try to get map information from the Gauls before I attack at your service uh, can I move this guy a little bit? Searching for clues. No, we're spying on him. Okay, that's fine. And let's do our turns for this city. I think for our capital, we're going to go ahead and do a shrine to Jupiter. And over here, we're going to do a shrine to Bacchus over here. And I think I'm going to do a shrine to Sirius. Or Sirius however you pronounce that in here. I'm gonna go ahead and train a Hastati and the town watch over here. And let's see, what else do I want to build a watchtower here to keep an eye on our pals in the Senate. Onward. Keep an eye on our pals in the Senate and also uh, if there's any rebellions uh, that you can um, see the rebellions with your watchtowers. All right, let's go ahead and end our turn. Uh, we got the blue here. That means the people are right on the borderline of revolt. Below anything below this, and they will revolt on us. But well, let's make sure we're on our highest tax rates here. We have a lot of money now but that will slowly go down and we want to keep our tax rates high you don't want your population to grow out of control either because that means you'll have to create keep a lot more guys in here to keep the public order so next turn alright they want to do trade rights we're gonna make a counter proposal we really want map information and see if they accept that good now we know where their lands are and we'll attack them next turn here we go we got a true Roman he gets plus one influence so this guy wants to marry our daughter or, um, granddaughter or is that our daughter I can't remember let's take a look at the family tree he wants to marry yeah our granddaughter Fadia he's really way too old for her also he's just not very good so no we're not gonna we're not gonna let him marry our he's not a very good suitor Imperator. 
Okay, let's go over here. March. And we're do build a watchtower. Build tower. I think I will wait one more turn before I At attack. So we got this guy over here. He's a family member and a general. This guy's just a regular captain. We're going to send our spy into this city and see what they've got. They've got a muster field, which allows them to build war bands. They've just got a wooden palisade and a barbarian a warlord's hold. So we'll wait one turn for that. Master. And I think I want to try to establish trade with Greece. So go ahead and get this guy out. Without delay. We don't Without have any trade delay. routes with Germany. We'll be at war with Gaul pretty soon. We're going to wait one more turn. We got our reports here. Three buildings built. We got our Hastati and Town Watch. Over here we're going to build some roads. Promote trade. And same with over here could go with a trader first. I like building roads because they provide improved trade, but also you can move your troops around a lot faster. And over here we'll also do roads. We don't need to build a shrine just yet. We can train peasants, but we don't need to. Alright. I think we're good. We're going to just leave our boats I here. The Senate may give us a new mission. Hopefully it's to take one of these two and not something crazy. Let's intern. So Carthage is at war with Greece and so is our Roman allies. We've got our roads completed. That was in Segesta. And next, we're going to build a temple, a shrine to Ceres. And we'll just continue out here. He's going to try to establish trade with the Greeks. Uh, let's just move him along the coast. Here's Segestica. But we're going to move west. We want to control the western territories. So this guy's retreating out here. We know we had a barbarian. Okay, we got the factionaire over here. And he likes to drink. Well, he's got a drunken uncle and a drinking companion. And he likes to drink. So this guy's all set for his alcoholism. Nice. General. So let's go ahead and attack their settlement. Prepare yes, we're attacking a neutral faction. Besieging and we'll sir. build some... Rams. Settlement Actually, can I sir. build more? Do, oh no, just one. I have a pretty small Settlement army. Under sea, Let's go ahead and get some more troops for yeah. him. I wonder what his range is. Okay, so he can't reach me next turn. So let's get these two guys to just reinforce our general here. They can't reach this turn, but they could next turn. And we'll get... Uh, Hastati. Let's just do the inex inexperienced one over here to get their happiness uh, back up. And we'll just continue to train more Hastati. And what about these guys? Do I want to move these guys out? No, not without a general. And over here, no more town watch. Let's just wait for our trader. We've got everything built. Let's go ahead and end our turn, I think. Yep. Got everything built. Yep. Move my armies out. Let's go. Alright, so this guy is a little bit better. He's a bureaucrat and a confident commander. He's got one management skill. Let's see, but we shouldn't entrust him running a shrimp stall. Well, uh, he's the, probably the best we're going to get, so we're going to go ahead and accept him. And he's probably going to be in our capital. There he is. He's going to escort out General. some Nastadis. And 
Let's just see what he can Move do over here. Sir. We'll reinforce our armies. March. And attack. attack. Our spies have managed to open the gates, so that's good. We'll go ahead and attack. They've got their faction air, which will be cavalry. Like heavy cavalry, and they've got a war band. Alright, this is not going to be quite as easy as the last battle, but still should be pretty easy. Let's do it without taking as few losses as we, as we can. We'll listen to his speech too. The girls fool themselves and think they are our equals or better. I think they had the stench of death about them. So let your battle cry put fear into the enemy's guts. Call out to them and be brave. Call to the heavens and let strength and honor be your watchwords today. All right, short speech, but a good one. Let's wait out the snow. Uh, at least we're getting better visibility. Oh no, we waited one too many. Well, let's just go ahead and start. You're not going to need that ramp. So we're going to go ahead and drop that. Do I want to try to do two two angles of attack? Um, no, because I don't see any gates on the sides. Just the front and the back. So we'll just go ahead and attack from here. Let's go ahead and get our infantry. We'll group them up and send them over like that. Get our missiles. And finally our general. Let's go ahead and start the battle. Alright. We can see their war warlord right there. Go ahead and get our missiles up to the front. Let's go double time. Double time! Oh, they don't want to fight. Okay, the gates, we'll be able to take the gates pretty easily. Let's just get everybody inside. Follow, let's wait for the infantry to go first. And they'll go double time. They do have these uh, towers which can damage us, so we have to watch out for those. Go ahead and start moving our other guys inside. And our general. We don't want him leading the way. We'll just go there. He'll just walk for now. Alright. Gonna breach the gates, guys. Great God! Did it. Don't stop. Keep going. Keep going. That spy did a good job busting these gates up. I wonder how he did that. Just one spy? He must be like the Hulk or something. Alright. See their warlord and their warband. They don't really have anything else. So get in position. General. We'll move out our infantry here. Like that. And our missiles right behind him. They can just walk. We're in no hurry. And get our general. Is he in the gates yet? Yeah, he's coming in. Let's just get him up here too. Like that. And actually, I can get my Triarii. Oh, no, they're not. That's a little too thin for my Triarii. We'll get Triarii and my most experienced Hestati to go up front. And then followed by the Archers and the Velites. Let's do that. And I think I'll try to maybe do a sneak attack with my General over here. Yeah, let's watch him march up the hill. Alright, 
Triaria, you need to hurry up. Why aren't you guys in? Missiles, need to hurry up. We're winded, because we just walked up the hill. But we should be okay. Alright. Archer should be in range and should start firing. Hopefully they don't hit our... Alright, here comes their warband. I mean their... Are they called a warband? The warlord, heavy cavalry. We'll get these guys to hit them from behind. And we'll get this Hastati go this direction. Move out. And they'll double time. The double. And I think you're going to back up this guy. Move out. Hurry. And you'll back up our general. Alright. We got our spearmen that have a bonus to cavalry. Alright, we'll just let our archers do their trick. Uh, the generals, the archers could do some damage to the generals, but they're heavily armored, so most likely not. I wonder if I should, should target directly their warband, because they're not going to do much damage to the heavy cavalry. Okay, come on, charge at my Triaria. I dare you. I dare you. Okay. What are they doing? They're just running around in circles. I guess that makes them less vulnerable to arrows. We got one. We got one of their bodyguards. There's their gin on. Right there. Well, I'm just going to speed things up while we're waiting. Okay, here they come. Make sure my Hastatis are set to fire at will. What's he doing? What's he doing? Okay, let's go ahead and send out... Let's go ahead and attack. Because now they are... Looks like they're charging my Hastati over here. Let's go ahead and get my guys to charge. Come on, guys. Let's just do an attack. I don't want my Triarii. Where are they going? Yeah, sometimes the AI can be frustrating in this game. I wanted them to head out this way. It's an older game, you gotta expect that. Okay. Let's get our general here. Hit their general. This has has thought he's gonna get hit pretty hard by this heavy cav. But the javelins did took out another guy. Hey, look at this. Is that their Where's their general? He is probably... Oh, he's right over there. Oh, well, let's just send him in right now. Okay, these guys haven't flee, fled yet. But they are wavering. Anybody not engaged? Okay, you just go to the town square for now. I was hoping to get my Triarii to hit this heavy cab in the back, but they're not participating. My general's going to have to do that dirty work here. These Hastati's going to get decimated, I think. Alright, looks like they're withdrawing. Where's our Triarii? They're still not even close to on the way. Alright, let's just send all my infantry, infantry! at this guy Charge! and my general. general. Their warband is... Well, we got the enemy. Enemy, that was their faction error. 
I don't want to lose my guy. Oh boy, he's in trouble. Let's get him out of there. Enemy general is dead. Out get out of there. Get out of there. Where's my Triarii? What are you doing, Triarii? I just don't want to attack. Uh, what are they doing? Get over there! Alright, here comes the Triaria. Finally got my spearmen up there. The general's safe. We're, we lost a unit of Astati, which is not good. But here comes a finally getting our Triaria. And we're just going to go ahead and end this one. The enemy's not the greatest. We lost 80 guys, almost an entire unit of Hastati, and we almost lost our general. That was pretty crazy. And no experience gained. Yeah, you got to be really careful with your general, especially in city attacks. They can just get surrounded and, and, and die. Okay, this is a pretty big city, so we're going to go ahead and enslave the population. Because we don't want barbarian cities to get out of control, we'll go ahead and do uh, uh, roads first, and then we'll do the shrine to Jupiter. We'll go ahead and build a town watch, and get our general Country out service. to the next city. Secrecy is assured. They've got quite a big army here. Hopefully, they move them out so that we can attack out in the field. We'll go in and get more Hastati. And you know what? We'll go back to just high taxes here. And over here. Get a, a get some actual walls. Because they could just up and take this city. I don't want to build any do another town watch. Get a town watch over here. Now I can go back to high, very high tax rate. And we got some reinforcements coming. They got a big army here, but I don't think they can reach us in one turn. And hopefully they don't. They had that other army here, but I don't think he can reach Segestia in time either. So I think we're going to be all right. Let's go ahead. And Oh yeah, we're sending this guy out to Greece to get some trade deals. Not too important. Oh, we did get some uh, barbarians. I mean, some peasant revolts. So that's uh, it's not good. Uh, it's pretty early for that, and they're quite the sizable army. Well. Let's just see what happens. Can't build a watchtower because we're in enemy territory. So, oh, I need to build something here. Let's go ahead and get started on some practice range. So I can start building uh, Velites here. And then eventually when it gets big enough, we'll be able to get to archery. Don't want to recruit anything here. Recruiting over here. Okay, let's enter. All right, they moved their armies out, which is good for us. We'll be able to hit them over here. But he's standing on a river crossing, which is really advantageous for him. Got our construction report, end of turn report. So what do I do about these guys? He's got a really large army on there. If I attack this guy, he won't have the river crossing. And these guys will be in reinforcements. But I don't have quite the military strength here because I'm split up. But what I can do... Oh, but I can't reach him in time. Um, are these guys actually close enough to be reinforced? 
Imperial. And I can't hire any mercenaries. Hmm. Not sure what to do. Let's go ahead and do Jupiter here. Get another town watch. So I can reach this guy, but then I'm attacking on the on the river crossing, which I don't want to do. Imperator, orders. Let's reinforce my units. All right, we'll build a trader here. Get some more money. Some money will help a lot. Let's go ahead and do the farms because this is going to take a while to grow. Although our population is growing slowly, so we'll do a barrack so we can get some town watch in here. Go ahead and get Hastati. More town watch. Send our Hastati over here to reinforce. And I think I'm just going to back off for now. I don't like this position. I think I'm going to move this guy back into my capital. Uh, well, let's move him over here so he stays within range so he can help next March. turn. But go ahead and build another watchtower because I love watchtowers. Build tower. And I've recruited everything. I've built everything. Let's go ahead and intern. Let's see what these guys do. We may have to withdraw. Shuffle some troops around. Give him a town watch. Give him another Hastati. And we're going to end our turn. See what he does. Okay. He's got some reinforcements. Move our uh, diplomat. Oh, we found another city. Noble master, your honor. It's a rebel city. All right. I don't know where those guys went. It's kind of disturbing. But we've got. At least somebody we can attack this turn. Orders. Let's go ahead and do that Imperial. right away. He'll probably withdraw. And he didn't withdraw sir, sir. onto the bridge. So we don't have to attack. do a river crossing. That's good. Alright, what does he got? He does have some cavalry. It's light cavalry. And a couple of war bands. So should be pretty easy to take out. Let's go ahead and fight him on the field. We're going to skip Today this we go speech. Into against the goals. Warriors both worthy and brave in equal measure. And we're going to just... I kind of like this formation. We're doing pretty good. Let's just move them up a little bit. And start the battle. So we'll just head on straight at them. Get our missiles in range. Actually, I, I think I might go in front here because I don't think he's going to charge at us right away. Let's get our missiles to jog. Get them ahead of the infantry and then I'll just have them walk after they pass the infantry. Okay, go back to walking speed. Archers at least in range. Nope. Gonna have to inch forward a little bit. Oh, they are. Stadis to fire at will. I want to get Triarii over here. I will get these guys to 
be behind their archers. That. Get the Triarii to protect our flanks. Move out! Run! And our general's going to protect our other flanks. And meanwhile, our archers are going to do as much damage as they can. Rack up the kills, rack up the experience. Let's watch them get... Let's see if they do any damage. They're hitting, guys. They're being blocked by their spears. I mean, their shields. We got Warbound and Warbound. But these guys don't seem to have any shields. Oh, I just couldn't see them from that angle. Let's go ahead and hit these guys a little bit. They might be at a better angle to get more kills on this side. Alright, let's speed it up. Just getting our archers some experience and lightly reducing our enemy forces. Alright, now it's time for our Velites. And make sure my infantry is backing them up. And hopefully, and we'll just leave our archers there. Make sure our infantry double time. These guys have to get right up close. Ooh, they're uh, doing their war calls. Nice. Ooh, they're not intimidated, but the guys that just died. Yeah, keep smacking your spears. We'll hit you while you do that. Doing some damage. Yeah, they're just gonna let me throw all the, my spears at them before they charge in at me. Let's go ahead and speed it up. Ooh, here they come. And we are out of spears. So we're gonna advance our infantry. Oh man, I was on triple speed and it just did not give me the time to react. Okay, I think we're okay though. We got our exposed flanks. Move out! Run! I think we'll be okay. Oh, are we still at triple speed? Okay, that unit just got routed. They are broken, so let's go back in formation. Alright, send our Triarii triari out. Get our General the flank. And we'll hit him with a uh, Triarii on one side and our General on the other. This is going to be sweet. This is going to be sweet. This battle went much better than our last one. Let's just rack up more kills. Yeah, I much prefer open field battles. Those guys are going to get away, but that'll be fine. Take out these war band. Band. You guys don't even bother chasing after the horsemen. Alright, let's go. 
All right, much better battle. Only 11. We only lost 11 guys. Still no experience gained yet. I guess we gotta do some bigger battles. Our general got 125 kills. Pretty nice. Our Hastati got 50. Our archers got 39. And we are victorious. Let's build a watchtower. Oh, we're getting watchtowers everywhere. Alright, get this guy over here to reinforce this city. Actually, you know what? They could be waiting in ambush here. I gotta be very careful. I'm gonna move him right on the river crossing. But without any archers, river crossing is not as good. But we'll just leave him here for now. We still got our spy in here. He could go looking for those guys. Yes, Let's go master. looking for those units. Is assured. Your Honor. See if there is a is woods assured. around here. Nope. At your service. On my way. No more. Go moves. ahead and build up a little bit. Do some. What do you want to do? We, let's do. Go ahead and do our shrine to Jupiter, so we don't need so many troops in the city. Build another town watch. And more Hastati. Eventually we're going to have to take out these peasants. Guess they didn't like our super high tax rate. Alright, every town has building. We've recruited where we want to recruit. Well, I think I'm going to put a cut in here. Thanks for watching. Bye.